Your father. Ah, hello. Hello. Nice name change, man. Really cool name, actually. Mm, I still miss my old nick, man. Ice picker. <laughs> One day I'm gonna go back to my roots. Why, why didn't you do that, then? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't in the mood, like... I'm, I'm quite impulsive with my name changes. <laughs> I see. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. My oh, dude, the first thing I saw when I came home was, was the teaser video of uh, Stefano. Oh, uh, yeah. I was like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> yeah, oh, like, I wonder if he's been, like, practicing a shit, man. He, I guess not, but you know Stefano, like, he practiced, <laughs> like, 20 games per day and he called that practice. But I, I think that's just something he says, you know. I, I bet that guy plays quite a lot, like, oh, yeah, under probably, some I mean. barcode on, like... Korea or something like um, I'm not buying into the whole like oh I'm lazy but too cool for school attitude you know yeah maybe maybe yeah, I think so man he's probably gonna win against Todd at least but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, do, I do not really as, as much as I would like him I do not really expect him to get far into the tournament but you know it's hamster camp it's just about all about the giggles yeah you wanna do the intros man sure um spawning at the top uh, left We've got Terran player already stacking up two kills, one being myself, unfortunately. Mm. He's Epical Heroes Serpus. Oh, that's the name. Epical Heroes? Yep, Epical Heroes. That's like one of those names like Dungeon Masters or like... <laughs> Wait a second. Someone says the stream isn't on. Well, it's supposed to be. Let me, let me see. Uh, Mattia messaged me. Stream. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, the stream is on and working fine. What the fuck? Yeah, stream is on. Yeah. That's um, weird. Well, in the... Meanwhile, in the bottom... Uh, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> We've got... Uh, the X-Caster. Now, gone to the play role here. Stepping up for second win. He's... Like a boss. He's like in control, man. What about him? Casting oh, yeah. one match, playing one match. Yeah. <laughs> Going back and forth between casting and playing. Yeah, I heard like uh, like a boss biggest idol, it's actually in control, man. Oh, is he? Told, yeah, he told me. I wouldn't be surprised, actually. One of my idols is in control, to be fair. I just find him Dude. extremely funny. <laughs> like, not, not because of his play, but I just find his kind of... His sense of humor, I just find that extremely funny. You saw that interview he did on that uh, American News Morning show? Yeah, the Canadian, That's actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, Canadian. Sorry, man, you're right. Oh, man, he represents StarCraft so well. Yeah, he actually painted a, quite a good picture. If only the Canadians would know that he's just not that great of a player like yeah I mean I I saw like one stock uh, Starcraft 2 documentary like when they had one of one of those I think it was maybe on the same channel or something it was quite weird it was all like when Huck was good and it was all about evil geniuses this was like they paid them yeah. to make a commercial about them like half an hour documentary or whatever you want to call it yeah uh, this Taran though really likes his fast CC builds yeah man he's gone I mean, I get that he goes for that build in Azerim Stronghold, which is, uh, you know, in base expansion and shit, it's much more safe to do that, but... You see the proxy Stargate location this game? Um, oh yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah. I hadn't noticed, actually, until you said that. Yeah. But yeah, he... My terror and heart skipped a bit there when I saw it. I haven't seen the new oracles, actually, so... I've, I've heard, like, I, I mean... Lucas has just, or like a boss rather, he's just told me that it's 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 broken. And yeah. I mean, <laughs> for Lucas to say that his own race is broken, that's gonna be pretty fucking broken. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard the rumors, man, and uh, I haven't dared to go ladder yet, so uh, <laughs> I probably won't go ladder until it's fixed, so. <laughs> uh. That's my opinion. I seen Bomber like have his little signs. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I, I really do not get, like, there's a uh, seat stand. Change I can understand. Uh, Broad roaches doesn't really have that much sense either, but I can. What, what was the pet with the roaches again? Sorry, uh, maybe yeah. seem misinformed, but uh, burrow is now like uh, burrow roaches now move a bit faster. Like burrow speed is a bit faster. Oh, okay, that's nothing major, I guess. I mean, it's it's decent for surrounding Protoss army as well, well burrowed, and then just 
like you know preventing force fields and shit I guess I'll have to take a look into that because I I really never go burrow to be fair I should kind of weird uh, for uh, sorry but kind of weird for like a boss not leaving any mothership core home for defense yeah he's just gonna try and take down and this is pretty dangerous because he's gonna lose a lot of probes to that reaper yeah oh. that's what well, that was pretty stupid not leaving the mothership core I mean he's gonna have the oracle for high ground vision in the way so really no point in leaving that not leaving that at home, I mean. Well, you know, that kind of, that extra 1 HP damage per second that the... <laughs> that the yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, the time warp uh, spell is quite nice, obviously, but... Yeah. But okay, Terran is pretty fortified here. Yeah, Terran is just bunkering up. He's getting a, a couple bunkers, he's getting a missile turret. I, I do oh. not see this working, actually. This Oracle got exactly zero kills at the moment. One kill, okay. Ooh. Yeah, he just needs to stop a second and he pretty much. Ooh, shit. He pretty much uh, kills one SCV. Like, one that's second. Like a, that's like a boosted fucking medevac the speed, man. Holy fuck. Yep. It is really low on health now. And, and I mean, there's no. Okay, like I was just gonna try to expand right now, but. Or not. Oh, yeah, he's gonna try to expand. He's gonna get a third location. And this is actually interesting because Terran's probably gonna believe that there's no expansion coming because he sees that his NG base is still up. Yeah, but uh, no matter how you look at it, like, even if it goes to a normal game and he expands and all allow everything's great, he's still not gonna have any answer for the 10 minute push coming out of Terran, you know? So far, I have to say, impeccable defense to those oracles. That Those missile turrets placed in the exact middle. Of the middle yeah. line just prevent any kind of yeah of I mean like w when I see a game like this and I'm in the Terran position I say it's GG like it may, oh it's super early to call and everything but it's gonna be hard for Protoss defending especially with that natural position yeah exactly that natural position like like a bus is trying his oracle Shenanigans again, he's gonna go for... Okay, he's gonna get nice SCB kills here yeah. on the barracks building workers. I mean, five kills makes it worth it. Six kills, that's really nice. But for two oracles, uh, um, that that isn't worth it. I mean, Terran got a lot of... He got five buildings? Not producing anything? I mean, not building? Okay, now we start. So, I mean, the delay itself is the big thing. Like, losing the CV in this position isn't something bad for the Terran. It's bad, obviously, but losing the time not building is worse. <laughs> yeah. Like, all he, he, all he can focus is on, like, get get medivacs. When the first two medivacs are out, he can just go and kill the Protoss player. Yeah, Oracle gets disintegrated as he runs into those Marines. Yeah. One of them truly deserves a medal. Yeah, man, sir, definitely. Let me let me check. Okay, sh I'm checking stream again, and it's looking nice and dandy. I mean, yeah, I mean, I I can't really tell the difference between 30 and 60 FPS. Uh, it's pixeling a bit. That's it's not because of the FPS. It's actually that's that has to be quality, like something related to quality or something. But yeah, but I'm legally like half blind, so I can't tell the difference between anything. Uh, that's that's not true, man. <laughs> oh, I actually went to the uh, eye doctor. What do you call it? Optics. Yep, some something. And like they that said is. you you can't drive without glasses. Oh well, I mean that's not that big of a deal, man. Many people use glasses. Yeah, I don't use glasses, but I have pretty bad sight, you know. Yeah. Do you have like the, in the same in Spain, like plus one and yeah, pl exactly. minus one and shit like that? Yeah. yeah. I had like uh, minus one point six or something. Yeah, so we've got like myopes and dioptries, I guess. Or yeah, yeah. Central station, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. I, I recognize the words. Meanwhile, Terran is moving out to end the game. Yeah. <laughs> that is a that is a very high amount of marines. <laughs> I mean, stalkers, not the best unit maybe in the game. <laughs> Plus, Steam is just gonna tear through that. Like Terran, as he's catch, yeah. he's gonna be smiling so badly. <laughs> Right now. Yeah. I mean, one Colossus without range is out. It's gonna get killed in two seconds. Alexi Chrono Boosts. Wonder if Tyron is thinking, why the hell did you take such a greedy third? <laughs> Maybe. 
Reigns is gonna finish for the next engagement, I guess, but I mean... Yes, but still only on one, uh, one Colossus and his Chrono Boosting a Robotics facility not producing, so... Maybe a bit of a mistake, I don't know. I think so. Like, range for one Colossus is great and all, but... Yeah, he needs much more than that to defend this. Yeah, I mean, next one can and sure him, but... But this was super bad engagement. Like, this was the worst engagement I ever seen from a current player except myself. Oh, and DT is actually gonna be a very fucking nice damage output. And I think Terran is just not realist. Okay, he scans now. He's gonna kill the DTs. Yeah, but that's way too late. He didn't lose any DTs even. Pinch my arm, Ruben. I had no idea what happened there, man. <laughs> okay. How the hell did he defend that shit, man? I mean, Terran stimmed and like exactly the same second stim went out. He actually engaged and like he had everything clumped against the cellots, <laughs> yeah. hugging the cellots. That was actually. I mean, Terran is still behind, uh, spinning behind this, but I mean, now Protoss has another expansion up, and he's actually in an exactly. okay position. Position. I mean, the, the double drop is incoming, but it with, it's with Marauders. So, like, he can get the building, I guess, but... I think he's gonna target the Nexus, or... Oh no, he's gonna target the... Oh no, he's not gonna target anything. <laughs> he's still targeting the Nexus, then he targeted the... Uh, but it's, but it's a scan to like poke at one of the. But they actually move this entire army. That's quite weird. Yeah, a couple of archons are gonna be quite nice. He's he's not getting any other colossus. He's he's getting one now. But I mean, how stuff is does uh, okay? Here we have the two first forges coming in. So Terran is definitely ahead in that. Oh shit! He's totally out of position though. Oh my god! Plus two finishes for Terran. The upgrade advantage is so huge right now. But the Terran arm is looking quite small, I must say. Yep. He's... Protoss Well upgraded, but small. Like... My private potch, I guess. Bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know, I, I, I kind of favor the Protoss army right there. Yeah. Those DTs, I mean, if the Terran doesn't waste another scan, he's, he's gonna get obliterated by those DTs in no time. Uh, he has one scan available, two actually. A second Colossus out is gonna mean the end of this aggression, Terran's moving back home. Yeah, what, what Protoss needs to do right this second, he has a lot of... Okay, that's the Terran player. Sorry, he doesn't have a lot of gas, but he still needs to do a Templar transition. Yeah, I think this is this arm is way too big for the Terran now. I mean, Protoss is just uh, falling behind on supply. And... Yeah. Oh, wasting two scans for one observer, that's quite bad knowing the DTs. Oh, don't walk into the light, Johnny. <sighs> okay, that was close. Yeah. A lot more. Okay, he's gonna get a lot more, uh, a couple more icons right now. He's gonna lose one instantly though, which is quite yeah. bad. Oh, that DT, man. Stay. Oh. Kind of weird angle for Terran. Yeah. I think, well, this is really close actually. Those Colossus are doing a shit ton of damage. Yeah, and both both alive actually. But one safe all man. Yeah. It's quite the, the upgrade of Banish is just too huge. Yeah. DT's getting warped in and killed instantly. Yeah, um, that makes gonna go sense down. Yeah. I mean, the, the upgrade advantage, like 2 2 versus 0 0. The Tyrant army is so much more cost efficient and strong. I mean, one DT is not even gonna kill anything, okay? Okay, he gets two bodies now. And those forges can get sniped pretty well from this position. Well, actually, three DTs kind of did the job here. He's gonna yeah, but do probably in the main, and that's gonna yeah. be huge. If he cancels the upgrades here, that is the end of the game. Well, I mean, it's kind of the end of the game already. That it's army getting into a really when nice position. When you drop the mules. Yeah. Getting into a really good position. GG well played. Yeah. For the Serp Russ. <laughs> nice, nice. And that's that. Yep. That was, <laughs> to be fair, like, uh, apart from the, like, initial blunder that Lycabos like, had, that was...
possibly one of the best outcomes. Like I expected the game to go so much shorter than that. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the first few defenses was really well, well defended. But the turn play showing his. What's a good word? I don't know, man. Defense? <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Another word for defense. Um. I don't know, but. You know, English is not really my strong. No, word. I don't. I'm not really good at English either, man. So what's the score right now? So right now it's uh, it was wait wait <laughs> is it it was two Three. games up for Mattia then equalized two games then one game more I, I think it's three two in favor of Apical Heroes if I'm not mistaken but I could be maths on air is not a good idea maths not really my strong it's not mine either to be fair it's <laughs> not <Econ. laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm gonna remember this when you're the uh, Minister of Finance in Spain, man. <laughs> oh, I hope not, man. This is not one of my strongest. <laughs> well, to be fair, you can't do worse than the guy sitting there. <laughs> well, that, that's actually true. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel truly Spaniard whatsoever, so... I mean, oh. I do not have, like, any sort of patriotic feel whatsoever. Like, I, I do not really give a fuck. To be so. fair, you're like, you have tortilla and... Mm. I mean, yeah, our food is awesome, and our land is awesome, and our climate is awesome, but yeah, our overall picture is not that good. Yeah, like the political side of the countries, maybe. Yeah, so corrupted. Can I actually confess you something, Simon, that I've been thinking about lately? <laughs> when you changed your name to Ragnarok, that br brought a shit ton of good memories to me, because... Uh, the first uh, clan I was into in, in StarCraft 2 was actually a clan with some friends and shit, you know, like your typical not really serious clan, you know, like, you know, no training and shit, it's, it's just for, for fun and, and stuff. And and it was, we were actually, um, we were actually planning to call it either Ragnarok or Valhalla. Oh, really? Yeah, and we ended up going for Valhalla. Aww. It would have been awesome if it was Ragnarok. Yeah, man. But uh, and I remember one of the guys that played with us was called Mjolnir, like Thor's hammer. Yeah, yeah. I remember Sleipner. We had him. Yeah. Sleipner mm. is some sort of Nordic thing as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I didn't know. Uh, related to all of that stuff. Sleipner was. Uh, I'm not googling it. I'm not googling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I didn't know, man. Actually. Oh, it's uh, one of those horses, you know. With. Let's see. Norse mythology. Blah blah. Odin. Slipner is Odin's steed. The Child of Loki and some... Ah, I have no idea. Like, it's, a, it's a man horse. Ah, I see. It's a man horse. I've, always, I've always found Nordic mythology, mythology to be so interesting, man. I used to play a shit ton of Age of Mythology, the video game. You know that? Yeah, man. That was such a good game. Oh, and, I, and actually, you're, you're, are you going next? Yeah. Okay, man. Good luck, then. Yeah. <laughs> shouldn't stay in the Skype call, maybe? Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> or maybe I should. That would have been fun. <laughs> what, but what, but Simon, what do you think about this proxy's target? Huh? It could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just end the Skype call then. Okay. See you, I'm good luck, man. Call caster, man. <laughs> no, I think I'll, I'll do fine by myself. Oh, good luck, man. Same. Oh. Okay, Skype call is finished. And here we go.
think currently the score is 3-2 favoring Epic, Epical Heroes, but if I'm mistaken, then um, I, I accept any any blame for that because I very well could be. I, I haven't been like counting up and uh, adding up properly, I guess. But I think it's 3-2. Okay, so I'm gonna solo cast this one. And it's gonna be uh, representing second win, uh, spawning at Belship Message at the bottom right position. He is uh, our good old Ragnarok. And then uh, spawning at the top left. Oh, nice. Shout out to Ruben. Ruben, it's me, by the way. For those of you who didn't know. And uh, yeah, so sp spawning at the, at the top left of this map, we've got um, representing Epical Heroes. Uh, he's gonna be. He, he's currently sitting at uh, four kills, if I'm not not three kills, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so far, a great performance from him. He's Epical Heroes, Cerberus. Yeah, I think it's yeah three. If the score is three two. He cannot possibly have four kills, can he? Okay, so so far, pretty much uh, identical builds here. Um, oh, there you go. This first deviation is going to be uh, twelfth gas. Actually, I believe it was twelfth or thirteenth gas. I uh, didn't quite take note of that uh, for Ragnarok. And in the meantime, both players are going to have uh, Asuka and SCB going uh, Cerberus going gases until just now, which gets uh, a 14 gas. Just in the nick of the 15 supply mark. Both SCBs are going to draw different uh, scouting patterns here through opposite sides of the map. Uh, barracks is completed. Uh, orbital command is going to be thrown down just now by both players. Bit delayed. Cerberus one, that is. SCB is going to get into uh, Ragnarok space, but Ragnarok's SCB is as well going to make it into Cerberus space, and he's going to see that there's no... Oh, no, he's actually going to get the SCB, I believe. No, just missed Micro that that one, one last stutter step. He didn't, he didn't quite fire. That was a little bit of a miss Micro. And he didn't end up killing that SCB, which would have been pretty nice. But other than that, uh, Ragnarok is throwing down his factory. Um, Cerberus is meanwhile choosing to go for his uh, uh, for his reactor here. Uh, so already some deviations from both players. Let me quickly grab something. Okay. <coughs> uh, so Cerberus is gonna throw down his expansion right now. He's gonna expand off uh, of one barracks with a with a reactor, which, which is uh, I guess it can be considered quite greedy. Although I, I do not. I do not know TBT matchup as much. I only play Terran like when I'm off racing at North America, and I'm like Platinum North American Terran, which is would be like uh, mid to high gold in Europe, I guess. So my my game knowledge of Terran is not that big. Uh, meanwhile, Ragnar is going for second barracks right now. He's placing it a bit behind the mineral line, maybe to prevent some uh, scanning to to get the oh one. He's actually ooh. Yep, he's gonna see the starboard. He was he was proxying the starboard here, and, and he's gonna have that have that uh, scout here, which is gonna be a bit of a nuisance for for Ragnarok here because he does not have uh, does not have a game plan right now. He's gonna build that starboard at his base. It's not gonna be that huge of a deal, but I mean, this time uh, Ragnarok is is delaying his his expo so much uh, Cerberus is, is getting his natural expansion pretty much already up it's up right now so this is gonna have to be pretty aggressive uh, or rather just all-in strategy from from Ragnarok here he th that target I mean that starboard uh, delay pretty much meant that there was gonna be no medibacks for this and I think this is gonna be uh, uh, this was gonna be. This was meant to be a drop of some sort, maybe. Uh, but he, but he didn't quite get the the medevac out in time. So this push is gonna be a bit delayed here, and he needs to get into that main base because there's no way he's gonna get uh, the front here. 
with one bunker down and, and four four marines inside the bunker it's not really a chance if he if he, if he repairs he's, it's just gonna be okay he, he doesn't know that there's no expansion right here so that could play into his favor he knows that there's a starboard here but he doesn't oh and he's gonna get uh surplus that is he's gonna get uh, some tanks out from the factory so we'll see here uh supplies are pretty much even here Medibank is finally approaching the the loading point and oh shit oh what nice 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 okay so but uh Cyprus units are gonna run into the main and I think this is pretty much gonna be defended here so many Hellions are gonna tear through those marines actually uh, I think this is just GD uh, drop has been completely stopped here dead on his tracks and uh Wheel mine is not gonna get anything down here uh, Rains are just gonna drop to the, to the fire of the, of the mines here, to the fire of the Hellions rather. And um, Ragnar is following this up with more and more aggression, but as a tank is gonna, it's gonna spawn in a second here. This is gonna be stopped, plus the medevac here is gonna, I mean the, the Viking here is gonna prevent this medevac from continuously doing the elevator trick. Uh, one medevac gets taken out full of units, that's pretty bad. I think, yeah, third CC coming down for for Cerberus, Cerberus here, so this is this is looking so grim for Ragnarok. I mean, I would say the game is pretty much over at this point. That was... Oh, he's going for... Okay, he's going for three CCs, for two additional CCs. Three CCs in total for Ragnarok here. But this is going to be rough, man, because... I mean, Cerberus has, doesn't really have this really high SCB count yet uh, at mining at the natural so I guess that can be justified in fact like he doesn't really have that much saturation going he, he's got 11, 11 SCB saturation granted that these SCBs are building here and they will resume mining as soon as they uh, as they're done but it's not that high I mean the worker count is, is 29 to 37 it's pretty high but not not huge if we consider the situation that he was pretty basically an all-in and he failed, so I mean, he was, he's supposed to be very far behind, and he, he's pretty far behind, but, you know, I think he can still make something happen here. He's got tanks of his own, and he's going for, uh, for the, for the NG bay here, to get some, uh, to get some upgrades here. What's, what's worrying me, really, is that, uh, Cerberus production is really gonna start getting out of control really soon, he's got, he's handing out a shit of production. And if we look at the structures, we see already um, how many of them. Fuck a three barracks here, three barracks of Ragnarok against the fourth, uh, the four of uh, of Cerberus here. So I mean, the production is slightly better for Cerberus in this position. He's think I guess the game is kind of equalizing as well. He's uh. Cyprus, meanwhile, he's gonna he's gonna try and get a drop into the main, which is probably gonna work here. I mean, if this tank here is gonna provide a very nice defense, and this this turret is probably gonna cripple that drop as well. But he, if he surrounds that, yeah, he's not not even gonna get in range of the of the turret here. It's just gonna be naked a naked tank, which is gonna do a lot more damage to friendly SCVs than it's gonna do to units. To be okay, there's the the, the marines, the tank. This drop is completely, completely held. This aggression is completely held. And Cyprus is actually moving across the map. Oh, and the drop was taken out. That is huge, actually. That is huge. That was really nice. Meanwhile, um, Steam is getting research for, for Cyprus. It's it's already done for, uh, for, for Ragnarok. And I guess this has kind of stabilized somehow. I mean... Cyprus third base is, is down already, but like uh, Ragnarok can can actually plant his his third base down whenever he decides to do so. He should be looking to do that any second right now because if not, he's gonna fall fall a bit behind on the economy department. Cyprus is is relentless with it. Cyprus is running marines across the map, and he's gonna try and he's probably gonna try and break this. Uh, in the upgrades. Uh, meanwhile, Cerberus has al does already have his plus one finished. Uh, Ragnarok's plus one is not going to be done for this battle, most likely. So this is going to be... And the, the, the worrying thing about this is Cerberus has Vikings on the way. And Ragnarok 
is is uh, not really adding Vikings yet, so that means that the air advantage is going to go for Cerberus, so he can basically keep this um, this block here going forever until until Ragnarok decides to push off here, and he really ne desperately needs to push off to get his his third base saturated as soon as possible. And he's going to be he's going to have to be very cautious about engaging this because this is a really fucking good spread. Submarine's gonna run to the deaths here. Uh, tanks getting positioned a bit, a bit further. I think this is not the correct choice for Ragnarok. She should go for this, for this expansion. Although he knows. Oh, and th there's a drop here. That was completely held off. By the way, he he killed. Let's see how many. He okay. He got six workers, which is not awful. Oh, one marine getting obliterated by that tank here. One, um, six workers is not awful for one drop, but it's not ideal either. Uh, Ragnar is severely falling behind here. Uh, due to sheer production of the, uh, of Cerberus, he's, he's got more economy, he's got drops going into the, into the main base right now. Some sort of semi-drone drop here. Getting in here. Um, the tank is gonna be able to, um, to hold most of this, but he's, and meanwhile, oh shit, the, the the block here is gonna is gonna be completely uh, obliterated here, but Cerberus is doing a shit ton of damage in the main base. He's he basically killed every SCBO. This is huge. This is huge. 21 workers killed. This was this was game ending. I would say completely game ending. Supplies tell the story here. Uh, Cerberus is moving to to get a fourth base right now, and yeah, those were a lot of SCBs that got killed. Actually, a lot of them. Uh, let's see what Serpus decides to do here. Okay, so he moved some SCBs to to the natural here, so he's not completely out of SCBs. But in fact, let's see. The harvester count is 40 to 71. Oh shit! I think I think uh, Serpus has a bit too many SCBs, maybe. But certainly, the advantage is very notable. And this really, I mean, to be fair. Um, Ragnar is playing this as as close as he can possibly make it look like, because this was supposed to be over five or, or rather seven, ten minutes ago, and he's getting his fifth as well. He knows that Ragnar cannot really pressure him right now, so he's got basically free space to do whatever he wants. <coughs> Let's see. I mean, look at that. Look at that vision for for uh, for uh, surplus man. He sees absolutely everything. Now this is really nice. Supplies are are looking very grim. For Ragnarok. Gangway coming through. And let's see here. Oh, next zoom drop is gonna go down here. This is a big ass zoom drop. I think this is just gonna be too much for Ragnarok to defend. And meanwhile, he's he's getting Cerberus is getting in with this this little chunk of marine, and he's gonna get the SCVs here. Probably killed every single one of them. Yeah, base is gonna have to be lifted up, and he's gonna kill shit ton of stuff here, as well as probably get the orbital command. He's gonna be forced to repair with those SCVs, and those SCVs are gonna walk to the deaths. Oh, now those those SCVs are trapped. He needs to repair that though. Meanwhile, the uh, drop of the main is has not been completely dealt with yet. And actually, the, uh, what is the army supply? I think. Yeah, there's, there's pretty much no army left <laughs> for Ragnarok. There's a couple tanks and uh, some marines here being produced now. Yeah, this is looking very grim actually. Very not good, I would say. Oh, you can take one tank here. Yeah, this is this is just snowballing out of control for Ragnarok. Yeah. Meanwhile, a fourth base down and a fifth base down, even with with a sixth base into here to be more into a right? Tanks are not sieged. They siege right now, but it might be too late. Coming from every single angle that it possibly can be. This surplus here, raining fire into this tank here, obliterating every tank line. 
There's the GG. Wow, man. That was... That was one-sided. But to be fair, Ragnar made it look as close as it could have been out of that initial all-in, so... All the credit goes to him in that sense, but... Of course, very solid game for Cerberus. He's been performing at a, re a really good uh, level. And yeah, that is that is going to be the 4-2. And being this best of 7.